Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, the thing I have highlighted in the yellow color are the latest features that has been added to one click trader. So for example, you can press the J key to hide and show the charts and you can press Ctrl Shift C in Windows and Command Shift C in uh, Mac to minimize and maximize the one click trader anywhere you are. So like this and you can press Ctrl Shift X to move the window left and right like this. So it will be useful if you are looking into the different charts. And another uh, new feature is entry buy and uh, split buy. So this is kind of order slicing. Uh, you can click the setting icon and you can see the settings here. So that one we will cover later. So as of the update, I have added the new broker uh, SAS online for triple uh, nine per month. Uh, you can avail the unlimited trading in SAS online. So and another update is I have added the Finifty option for the current week. So today it's expiry day, so it's uh, almost expiring to zero. Okay, now uh, today what we are going to do is mainly cover this uh, entry by and split by feature. So I'll be showing you live demo right now. By default, the entry by and split by value will be zero, which means it is uh, disabled. Uh, now let's see the real case example for the entry by feature. Uh, you guys know that the maximum allowed quantity per trade in the NXC exchange is 1800 quantity. So if you are taking more than 1800, you will get error in the broker. Similarly for bank nifty, the maximum allowed quantity per trade is 900. So you will not be able to take trades. Even in the fin nifty, it's around 1800. So in one click, you will not be able to trade more than the allowed quantity. Now suppose you wanted to take 5400 quantity in one click, you set the entry by value to the maximum allowed quantity that is 1800. Now if you press the up arrow, it splits your 5400 quantity into three different orders. That is each order is the maximum allowed quantity uh, by the exchange. Now if you are trading in the non-liquid scripts so like uh, 1800 quantity in single order will give you slippages. So what you can do is you can modify the entry by value to uh, like even lower value instead of uh, bigger quantity in single trade you can split into like for example here total quantity I want to trade is 1000 and I want it to split it to uh, 200 quantity. So it will uh, place it as five different order. So it will not make sense in the broker like Zeroda as you will get lots of uh, brokerage. Uh, mostly I support like uh, four other uh, brokerage free brokers there you can do something like this to avoid the slippages. So now let us look into the split by feature. So basically after you have the open position like this you can merge and split the trades like this. Now if I keep it to 1800 and if I press the V key it merges all my trades to the maximum quantity here. So now if I set it to something like 150, it will split all the open trades into the 150 quantity so that you can book the partial profit like this, like this you can use it. And again, if you increase it to the maximum quantity and if you press the V key, it will merge all the trades into the maximum quantity you set over there. If it is lower quantity compared to the open position, it will split into multiple trades. Now uh, to close all this position uh, in single order, you can just keep the split by value to some other like 1800 which is maximum and press the C key. So now you can see all the 150 quantities merged into 600 quantity and closed as a single order. Okay, now uh, I will show another example uh, for both the entry by and uh, split by value. Now let me set to the maximum quantity in the nifty call option so let's keep 5400 and entry by is 1800 as we know this is taking three different orders now split by value i am keeping to something around uh, 250 and if i press the v key it splits all the open position into 250 quantities so if you count all this uh, open uh, quantity it will be around 5400 Likewise, you can change to whatever quantity in split by and if you press the V key, it will split your order automatically for you and you can exit a single position like this with whatever quantity you want and later 
and uh, one more thing is if you keep the split by value to zero it means it has been disabled so if you press the v key nothing will happen and uh, if you keep it to some other value and press the v key it will merge the open trades accordingly now if you press the c key it closes all the position by 250 quantity that is because split by value is set to 250 you can set the split by value like uh, 1000 or uh, 1800 so that you can avoid the uh, time it takes to close multiple orders you can uh, use this entry by feature not only for uh, taking uh, maximum allowed quantity you can also use it to split into several small trades so this can be used when uh, if you feel like uh, multiple big quantities giving slippages and you won't take several trades you can uh, keep the entry by to smaller quantity like this and for exiting you can set the maximum value of split play and press the c key so it will merge all the trades into one trade and uh, it exit in single click so basically the flow should be like uh, you can take multiple trades like this uh, you may be averaging or something like that and uh, while exiting if you press the C key, it merge and close a single order. And uh, if you want to close all the order individually as well, you just keep the split by value to zero. Now, one more thing I wanted to tell you is like uh, if the quantity is lesser than the entry by value, the entry by will be uh, disabled. Uh, for example, here the entry by is 250 and the quantity is only 50. Now I'm pressing the down arrow for the put option. You can see it just the, takes the quantity of 50. And if it is multiple, if the quantity is greater than entry by, then it will be splitted into 250s. So, and uh, split by value, I am keeping it to the maximum. And if I press the C key, it is merging all the quantity and exiting by the maximum quantity allowed by the exchange. Likewise, you can see here again, if I change the split by value, it is splitting into the value like this. And you can exit the position individually like this so yeah that's it for uh, this video guys this is a full demo of entry by and split by value uh, you can go through this document I will share this document in the description you can download it as a PDF file and uh, you can go through it and to get all the features I have uh, discussed now you go to your dashboard and download the executable file based on your operating system okay that's it for this video thank you bye